Time Technical Colleges Facebook Live Open House Week. Um, this afternoon we are talking about our sports tourism program and I am here with one of our sports tourism students, Denzel Jones. Thanks for being here, Denzel. No problem. Thank you. We are here right now at Graham Park and Market Common, which is the City of Myrtle Beach Sports Complex, which we'll get to in a minute. But I wanted Denzel to tell you guys a little bit about his experience so far as a sports tourism student. Uh, so far, sport tourism, it, it, it honestly has been a blast. Um, uh, when I first started school, I didn't know what I wanted to uh, decide to, to go in. Um, I tried, I tried a different, um, I tried, I tried a lot of different. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you right. I, could, I tried a different couple other programs. Um, I, I heard that uh, sport tourism was a new program here at Tech. So I went to an open house and um, just been a perfect fit ever since then. So you like sports, you like working outdoors, yeah. interacting with people. It's been, a, it's been a great fit for you. Been a great fit. Yeah, and you have, uh, we talked about this earlier today about how anybody can go back to school even if you're working. So you've been working, you've had a job, you've been going to school, and you've been doing an internship. Correct, correct. How do you fit all of that in? It, the, the most, the only one way, I, only one word I can explain to say it is time management. Um, you, just, you just gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Make it work. Make it work. Stay organized, manage your time well. Mm -hmm. And you've also um, had some financial aid to help you out. Correct, is correct. That, how has that been a that financial for you? Financial aid has helped me out tremendously. I, I, I could say if it wasn't for financial aid, I, I probably couldn't make it. That's great. And you were getting ready to graduate, correct? In December. Awesome, In congratulations. December. Thank you. So tell us about your internship here. What do you do for that? Um, the internship here, um, we sell tickets, uh, we do uh, wristbands placement. Um, we, uh, we, 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 we're very big on customer service here. Um, the wants and needs for, the, for the, the coaches, the players, the family, we, we want them to come in and feel, and feel uh, like home because they come from all over the world. So we, we want them to feel wanted, we want, we want them to feel happy, we want them to enjoy their stay. Um, just customer service is our, is our, is our main thing. You know? Right. Which is a huge asset. You can't necessarily teach that in the classroom. Correct. It's something that you learn through your internship. Correct. And your internship is going to turn into a job? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. That's awesome. So hands-on learning that turns into a career opportunity is a win-win. Right. 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 Anything else that we left it out? Um, I would like to just say uh, any kids out there that has a passion in sports, um, that love uh, just just any sports so should really consider in looking at sport tourism. Awesome. Well, thank you, Denzel. No I problem. appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have our program chair, Lawson Holland, step in. Tell us a little bit more about the program itself. Whoops. All right. So, tell me about the sports tourism program. Give us an overview about. The program and how unique it is. For First of all, good job, Denzel. And I think Denzel is a little bit nervous today. He is an outgoing <laughs> dude, has a bubbling personality, and uh, did a great job. Yeah. Sarah, sports tourism is a buzz along the Grand Strand. Uh, I guess probably about 10, 15 years ago, the economic impact of sports tourism, it just in Myrtle Beach, was probably about five, six million dollars. <laughs> Last year, 2016, the economic impact of sports tourism again, just in Myrtle Beach, was over $187 million. Wow. So it is the buzz, and there are so many jobs available for our students. We can't possibly fill them all. If you go, SFA is the company that manages and runs the new 100,000 uh, square foot facility behind the convention center mm -hmm. in Myrtle Beach. If you go on their website today, there are 22 jobs available. And what people are looking for and what they're telling me, they want graduates with hands-on experience. That's why we uh, have our internships. Uh, we start them in the second semester, they get in 540 hours total over three semesters, 180 a semester obviously, uh, to give them that hands-on experience that is necessary and vital for successes in sports tourism. Right. When we put the curriculum together, I knew that uh, we'd have people want to do a plethora of things. Facilities and operations. Uh, get involved in the law side of sports tourism. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's a lot of liabilities. 
some, somebody may want to be an accountant or a sports tourism uh, facility. So we offer everything from management to facilities and operations to marketing. Marketing is huge to get people to come here. You know, a lot of people have asked, what is sports tourism? Mm -hmm. Sports tourism is simply traveling to watch or participate in sporting events. It's just like right now here at uh, uh, Market Commons at Grand Park, uh, we've got Denzel, what, about 100 teams in here for the Triple Crown uh, event that's going on for the next three weeks. And we want heads in beds. We want these people to come here. Obviously, we'd love for the, each team to win every game. We know that might not be possible, but we want them to come back. We want to bring their families back and enjoy a week or two at Myrtle Beach. Absolutely. Now, there's one thing that's very unique about our sports tourism program at Tech. What is that? I think a lot of things well, are unique. I think what it's you're alluding to is we are the only sports tourism associate degree program in the state of South Carolina and one of only two in the United States. And like I said, there are so many jobs out there in sports tourism across the country uh, where our students can feed into. Right. But we're right here in Myrtle Beach, which is a mecca for, for tourism and sports, which is perfect. And mecca is my term. <laughs> I think that I think that the Grand Strand area, you know, we got that beautiful sports complex at North Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. Of course, here at Grand Park at Market Commons, number of complexes and fields. I mentioned the uh, new athletic complex behind mm -hmm. the convention center. We have a convention center but also Conway, Georgetown, have great facilities for sports tourism. So it is a big business and building very quickly in Myrtle Beach. And our students are fortunate, Sarah, they're in on the ground level mm -hmm. of this in Myrtle Beach. Right. And they're, they do have a, a step up, so to speak. By the time they graduate, they're, they're doing well. Well, they are. Uh, we got one young lady that's Worked for the Carolina Panthers. We had one young man do his internship for the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, Horry County School System employs interns. Jay Baldwin from North Myrtle Beach has a kayak company. So we had a young man uh, do his internship leading kayak tours. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, here at Grand Park at Convention Center, uh, uh, all around there are good jobs available. That's awesome. Sounds like a lot of fun. I'm kind of tempted to. Come on, we'd love to have you. And anybody out there watching, obviously, we'd Absolutely. love to have you involved in our program. Uh, it's, this is big business. Mm -hmm. It really is, and a lot of fun. Um, don't forget that if you like or comment on this video or any of our videos this week, you can have your application be waived as long as you do it this week before Friday at noon and apply before Friday at noon. Um, anything else you want to touch on? No, I just think it's a huge opportunity for a lot of students, you'd have a hard time convincing me. There are a lot of local students in South Carolina and beyond that have a passion for sports tourism and not really sure what they want to go into. Mm -hmm. And this gives them an opportunity to stay involved in that sports arena, uh, stay in contact with something that athletes have been used to, and uh, get a full-time job and go to work. That's awesome. Can't go wrong there. Right. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Denzel. Right. Um, join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're going to be talking with our engineering faculty and students at 10 o'clock. And then at 2 o'clock, we're going to be learning more about some of our health sciences fields, um, EMTs, phlebotomy, and our brand new respiratory care program. So thank you. We'll see you then.